many of you actually gone out and got your red currants or have you actually gone to a local uh, farmer and uh, picked uh, some fresh currants from a currant bush? They're actually quite easy. In some ways I almost find them easier than picking strawberries. So today's recipe I'm going to actually show you is currant and orange cake. It's actually my, my version of it and uh, with a few extra little flares to it. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay everyone, the ingredient list is very, very basic. We're going to definitely need sugar and about one cup of sugar. We're going to need about two cups of flour with three teaspoons of bacon powder and I just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon to just give it that extra little bit of spice to it. We're going to need two eggs plus an egg yolk. Okay, so two eggs plus an egg yolk is lightly beaten with a fork and as you can see this is what it is. Yeah. Uh, for the extra spice, we're going to use the orange and I've actually started grating it already. I just have a, a grater here and I grated the orange. We're going to need a half a cup of milk and uh, currants, of course. Now, I've lightly dusted these currants with a little bit of flour just to keep them to hold them in place, okay? And then, of course, we're going to need a half a cup of butter, which is already in my blender. All right, so let's get started. All right, everyone, what we're going to do is I'm going to use my good old KitchenAid uh, mixer here. Um, I love this machine, so if you ever do get a uh, KitchenAid, you're going to just, it's going to be your best toy. Uh, you're going to first begin with beating the butter. And we're going to do this on medium high. Now since our butter is creamed, we're going to slowly add the sugar, just a little bit at a time. And the most important thing is we want it to be nice and light and fluffy, okay? And, and we're going to beat this for a while because we want the sugar to be really um, grinded into the butter. Once you've added your sugar, we're going to at least beat it for a few minutes. We really want it to become nice and fluffy. And in some ways, when you actually put your finger in it, it shouldn't feel so granular. It should actually feel nice and smooth, okay? So this is going to take a while. And so be patient with it. Now, at the same speed, which is sort of medium speed, we're going to slowly add the eggs. Just a little bit at a time. We don't all want to overdo it. Again, stop the machine, scrape the sides. And the most important thing about all your ingredients up to this point is actually making sure that the butter is at room temperature and also your eggs are at room temperature, okay? On a hot day like today, today is actually not bad. Um, and so the butter is a little bit on the soft side. And so you really have to sort of watch that temperature. You don't want it extremely melted, but you don't want it too hard. So we're just going to beat that a little bit more. At this point, I'm going to throw in the orange zest and just beat that a little bit. I'm going to put this on low because what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the flour to this. And we're only going to add a third of the flour until it mixes. And don't over mix this part. Now we're going to add a little bit of milk. About half the milk. We're going to add more flour. The rest of the milk. And then finally the rest of the flour. Stop the machine, lift it up, scrape the sides. So, this is getting closer and closer to getting done. And actually, I'm taking my time on this, but you know, in, in reality, this is actually going to be pretty quick. I'm going to turn up the, the machine a little bit more. I'm just going to beat it for a little while, like maybe for 30 seconds a minute. Probably even a little bit less than that. Because it's looking really, really quite good. Now comes the best part, actually. This is the part where I usually do the taste testing and lick my finger over it, but that's a little disgusting to do on camera. We're just going to lift this up. I'm going to scrape everything off here. Take the bowl out. I'm just going to give it a little bit of folding in here. And this is the great part. We're going to add our currants that we just freshly picked. This is 
almost the perfect, perfect, perfect Christmas um, um, cake in some ways. I love the red colors with the white. The orange certainly gives it a little bit of zest, and same thing with the uh, cinnamon. Okay, preparing the cake pan is actually really quite simple. Actually, I love using, believe it or not, Pam. Out of all the things, I've actually been one of those type of people who would just get the butter and smear it all over. I'm a type of person who likes to just quickly do things and get it done as quickly as possible and without making the biggest mess. So, just get your pan out. What you do is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of flour in here. Just, and I just give it a good shake. And there you have a nice floured pan. So, with this wonderful cake that we have actually just made, at this point, what we want to do is preheat the oven, and hopefully you've actually did that before, like I did. Um, so before you always start baking, get the oven turned on at 350 and uh, get it preheated. So whatever you do, do not throw this thing in an unpreheated -pre um, oven. Okay, so let's go over to the oven. Okay everyone, over to the oven. I actually just love this oven because it's a little bit of a vintage oven in this whole So what we're going to do is just add the cake to the oven. And let it bake for 40 minutes. Now that you've actually have a baked cake here uh, for 40 minutes and uh, what I did allowed to do is just cool it for a little bit and then um, let's actually add some frosting over this. So this is just going to be a very very simple glaze and that's just going to give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay? Hopefully you didn't throw away the orange that you actually grated because this is going to be an actual excellent little flavoring for the, um, uh, the glaze. So we're just going to chop this orange in half and here I have some icing sugar, just simple um, icing sugar, about a cup and a half, a cup, depending on how much I want. And first of all, what I'm going to do is squeeze the orange in this orange, uh, this glass here. And I should get myself a fork here. Now, I'm also going to add a little bit of Grand Meunier. And this is actually an orange flavor liqueur. I'm just going to add a bit of this in here. I just like the little taste of it. You don't have to do this, it's not always for everyone. And so what we're going to do is just swirl it a little bit and now I'm just going to microwave it just to get it hot for about maybe less than a minute. Alright, that actually only took about 20 seconds and I got it really steaming. So you just well, watch that and depending how much liquid you actually have. Now we're going to slowly pour this in the ice and sugar. We don't want to put, we just want to do it drop by drop. Because too much is going to get you a very runny glaze. Now the next thing I'm actually going to do is to make it even more sweeter is I'm going to actually just poke some big holes into this cake all around it and you want it to drip over the sides. Alright everyone and voila this is the final uh, part of the cake. Uh, very very simple cake, very easy to make, uh, delicious and I've just decorated with some leftover currants some orange slices that have actually uh, peeled off and of course some fresh mint from the garden. So enjoy everyone and uh, we'll see you next time.